Even our dogs and cats don't make it easy for us to tell when they're feeling just a little bit under the weather. So how does the veterinarian at the Louisville Zoo make sure that all the zoo's animals are healthy and feeling good? And what happens when it's dinner time? Is there one big bag of zoo chow for everyone? I got a first-hand look at what it takes to keep the zoo's animals healthy and happy with their menus. We happen to be in a place where uh, I get a little nervous sometimes, you know, I mean, this is where you do a lot of your work on all of the wonderful animals that you have here at the zoo. And tell us just a little bit about where we are here at the zoo. Yeah, you're in our general procedure room here in the zoo hospital, also called the Animal Health Center. And this is where most of the medical procedures happen. So animals up to about 500 pounds, we can bring wow. into this room. And that's, of course, birds and reptiles, amphibians even fish procedures we've done in this room. On up to the big mammals, up to about 500 pounds, we get to bring here and look at them, anesthetize them, of course, and, and give them a once over. Okay, you've got an interesting job. Now, when I go to the vet, I'm taking my dogs, and that's pretty much what we're gonna see, dogs and cats. Here, how many different animals do you have? And, and you, as you say, most of them come right here to have all their procedures done. Yeah, we have a very diverse animal collection, uh, about 1,300 animals here at the zoo uh, from Invertebrates, you know, millipedes and tarantulas on up to uh, birds, reptiles, amphibians, great apes, uh, elephants, marine mammals. It's very, it's, a, it's an awesome collection. With such a diverse group of animals here, uh, do you treat your animals like we would treat a person, say, uh, a preventative medicine of any type? Absolutely. You know, wild animals and zoo animals hide their disease and uh, so we try to be on the preventative end of things, trying to prevent issues. So we have a very comprehensive preventative health program here at the zoo, consisting of quarantine, vaccinations, uh, tuberculosis testing in wow. susceptible animals, comprehensive exams, preventative dentistry, nutrition, pest and parasite control, you know, the list goes on and on. But yeah, we really try to be on the preventative end. Tell us a little bit about the training and, uh, I mean, because it can't be easy to medicate all of these animals. You've got right. to have a little secret when you do this. Yeah, animal training is a, is a real important part of what we do and it allows us to take better care of the animals. It actually makes my job a lot easier. <laughs> so when an animal cooperates uh, with the keepers or the trainers, and that could be stepping on a scale, presenting a body part for evaluation, allowing us to touch them or medicate them, that makes it so much easier to monitor them and care for them. And so animal training also uh, decreases stress, is great enrichment for the animals, and uh, in some times uh, allows us to avoid anesthetic procedures, which are never without risk. So about 1,600 pounds, huh? Yep, 1,600 pounds. That's amazing. <laughs> like most of my rides, tamed it, tamed it. I'm the man. So how much could they carry as far as pounds? Um, technically, camels can carry half their body weight. So Pete weighs about 1,600 pounds. So, yeah, so in theory, he could handle 800, um, but we never. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> how much will they eat, or what do they eat? Alfalfa and Timothy hay, um, and then they get pellets, like sweet feed, um, and they get carrots and apples as snacks. Well, this was great. Thank you. Petey, thank you. He'll look at you. Petey, thank you. Thank you. Aww. <laughs> I love Petey. I thought when they said we're going to the commissary that I'm looking for cheeseburgers and french fries. This isn't the commissary I was looking for. No, it's a little different. We uh, do things a little more on the healthy side. Well, you brought me here to the grain room, which mm -hmm. is called, and behind us we've got foods for, let's see, for everything. This has got to be amazing, what you have to do, the nutritional value. 
that you have to give to so many different animals that you have here at the zoo. Mm -hmm. What is the process of doing all that? So every single animal has a diet, a specified diet, whether it's um, yams and um, apples and carrots for our elephants or like our um, lion Kenya, he's getting 12 pounds of our feline diet right now. Mm -hmm. Our Amur tiger, he is getting 12 pounds of our feline diet and two pounds of our chunk ah, meat. Okay. So each animal gets a very, very detailed diet. Um, our vets and our keepers, they combine, they're put, they put their heads together and give them what's best for them. It's gotta be expensive, doesn't it? It's, <laughs> it's not cheap. Um, we go through about, um, we get a bunch of deliveries. We get fresh produce every single day. We get mm. a grain delivery every single week. We get frozen rodents every week. Um, so if they need glucosamine supplements because they're feeling a little achy that day, or if they're a younger animal and they need, you know, Whatever. Yeah, whatever they need. But you'll get it's, the advice from an expert and they'll yes. tell you what you need and boom, you fix it right now. It's absolutely the best thing that they can Well, get. now we see all the dry the, food, but you gotta have food that's frozen too, right? Cause you gotta keep things fresh and mm -hmm. you must have a big refrigerator. We do have a big refrigerator. <laughs> um, we have fresh produce that comes in every day. We also have access to a large freezer. We have frozen chunk meat, frozen wow. rodents, frozen, um, we have a little bit of frozen... Frozen rodent, my favorite. <laughs> I think that's the one I like. <laughs> frozen mice, frozen rats, rabbits, and things like that on stock, just so we can keep things as fresh as possible. But always trying to give them the diet that they would have out in the wild and what they mm -hmm. were created to eat. Yes. And the very best, too. Very best. I've best noticed that. To the them. care here has been amazing.